I know this is a little strange for me to be checking in with you guys like this. What's up guys? Happy 2017. This video is going to be going up um, in the new year, even though it is New Year's Eve today. I still want us to think a little bit about 2016, what it was as a year for you, and really think about the things that you were grateful for. I know when I woke up this morning, I took some time to really think about everything that I was grateful for in 2016 so that I can enter the new year with the most grateful heart. And I really think that that's what helps set us up for a happy new year, just being grateful. I think that when we're grateful for everything we have, that's when we realize we have everything we need. I wanna challenge you guys to really think about the things that you were most grateful for this past year in 2016 and comment them below. I'd love to hear some of the things that made an impact in your guys' lives. Some of the things that I'm most grateful for, and there's so many, but just to name a few, I'm grateful for my health that I had in 2016, grateful for the opportunities that I had to pursue my passion, grateful for all of the incredible places that I was able to travel to, I'm grateful for the people that came into my life, I became roommates with Amanda this year and I'm definitely grateful for that. I'm honestly grateful for all the struggles that I had and I know that that might sound a little crazy, but I truly believe that without those struggles, I wouldn't be as strong as I currently am today in 2017. Our strength is not defined by the lack of struggles or the lack of moments of weakness, our strength is defined in our ability to overcome them. And I feel like without those struggles, I wouldn't be in the same position sitting here talking to you guys as a woman filled with the strength that I am right now without those struggles. So I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for my ability to overcome them most of all. I'm grateful for my faith and I am absolutely grateful for every single one of you guys. We just reached 7K and I wanna thank you guys so much for being here from the bottom of my heart, your positivity and all of the wonderful things that you guys leave me in the comments and the feedback that you give me, it means the world to me. You guys have no idea how grateful I am for all of you. So to all 7K of you, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Let's start 2017 off strong. Good morning guys, happy new year. I'm gonna show you guys my New Year's date from last night. Are you ready for this? Sexy, right? It is New Year's Day, January 1st, 2017. Woke up feeling good, went out last night, stayed out until 12.15 a.m. I know, big time, wild over here. It was good, rang in the new year with some close friends. We went out for sushi and I tracked two pieces of yellowtail sashimi, two pieces of albacore sushi, so over a little bit of rice and then a garden salad with dressing on the side. Uh, so I tracked that in before I left for the day so that I was able to still go out and be social with my friends while still on prep. And I did not drink last night. Uh, I had some water on the rocks. I was home by 12.30, was just kinda tired and ready to get in bed so that I could get here and get on this cardio this morning. I was still feeling really good, ready to crush this prep hard and crush 2017 goals. Uh, one thing that I did slack on yesterday was getting my water intake in. I'm gonna make a really conscious effort this week to ensure that I am getting in at least a gallon a day. I'm usually very good at that. It just kind of comes naturally. When you start drinking that much water, your body actually starts to crave it and you can't go without it. Yesterday it was tough. I had like a little wristlet out with me so clearly couldn't carry my water bottle around with me like I normally do. And it was cold out and cold inside that little party we were at and I find it difficult to drink water when I'm cold too. So I definitely slacked a little bit yesterday and I woke up this morning with a headache and I think that's why. It's funny, I didn't even go out drinking last night and I woke up with a headache. I'm like, really? <laughs> so I'm gonna make a conscious effort today and the rest of the week to ensure that I get in my water intakes. It's so important for our bodies to make the changes that they need to make and to stay healthy. So on that note, I'm going to get in my cardio and happy new year to all of you guys. What's up guys? So I decided to take a little bit of a break from work today. It is my rest day from training and it's gorgeous outside so I wanted to to get in a walk outside so I decided to come down to the Venice boardwalk and just go for a little stroll 
brought my headphones so that I can just kind of like drown out the crowds and just practice some mindfulness and just to get in some activity outside today. Well, the boardwalk's actually like super crowded right now. There is some kind of world peace drum circle going on, so I'm gonna show you guys. Definitely getting yep, one of these too. Usually 25 out of your 15. You get small, a little So cool. Just got back from my walk and pulled this bite meals out of the freezer. It is four ounces of chicken, half a cup of rice, and some green beans. The macros are four fat, 27 carb, and 37 protein. And this is going to be my third meal of the day. I'm gonna be taking one of my NLA for her, her probiotics before this meal. I don't have a specific time that I take my probiotic, just as long as I take my one capsule a day. And we got some spices from Buff Bake called the Oh My Spice, and I'm gonna try out this sweet and savory one. It looks like it's gonna have like a little bit of a barbecue taste to it, but the sodium's super low. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, MSG-free, no fillers, and no preservatives. So, let you guys know what I think. And we also got a sweet one, the birthday cake, that I put on my egg whites last night. So, it was pretty good. Just with some ideas to add some variety and flavor to your foods. It's been such a struggle to get workout footage for you guys these past few days. I have been training solo, and if you've watched my previous videos, you know that Gold's Gym is a little crazy about us coming in with our cameras and filming. But I have some plans to do some filming this week and get some really good workout footage for you guys. I know that a lot of you love seeing my workouts in my videos to get some ideas. I have plenty of workouts in previous videos, so please go back and watch them. I did wanna talk to you guys a little bit about why you're hearing me say uh, my goals this new year instead of my New Year's resolutions. I don't particularly believe in the word resolutions. The definition of resolution is to actively say that you're going to do or not do something, and that's it. And I think the reason why most resolutions fail is because there's no plan of action. There's no measurable or achievable goal attached to that resolution where when we say we're setting goals, we can make them trackable, we can set dates, we can set deadlines, we can attach numbers to them, and we can measure them. And I guess maybe that's the data-driven psychologist in me. I thrive off of seeing myself move from point A to point B and knowing that I'm on the right course towards achieving my goals. That's why you've heard me say, these are my 2017 goals rather than my 2017 resolutions. I know that when I'm keeping track of my goals, whether they be physical, whether they be emotional, mental, if I'm keeping visuals of them, not only is it a good way to hold myself accountable, but it's an excellent way to increase your motivation. When you're seeing yourself actually make that progress toward your goal, that's so motivating to keep going. I encourage you guys to kind of shift your mindset from resolutions to goals. I encourage you to comment below, let me know what some of your resolutions were and how you're turning them into goals, ways that you're going to track them and measure them and hold yourself accountable. I think that we can start a little community here and all encourage one another and help one another and motivate one another to stay on track toward our 2017 goals. So go ahead and comment those below. I'd love to hear what you guys are working towards this year. I know a lot of you guys have asked how I set my day up to stay on track. I like to wake up every single morning and write out my to-do list for the day. And yes, more things usually pop up, but this kind of gives me a rough idea of how my day is going to go and staying on track. And it really helps me to alleviate any like stress or anxiety because I have my day totally structured and planned out. So today, wake up, 
read my devotionals, prayed, and then I went straight to the gym, um, eat, and then work for a couple hours. I'm going to get my eyebrows touched up and then back to work for a few more hours. Cryo, plan out my next day. My to-do list is train, cardio, work on client plans, write a couple of blog posts, a couple of people that I need to text, um, do my camp follow-ups for my girls that are in my holiday camp, check on them, see how they're doing, make sure I schedule my cryotherapy session, create my camp Facebook group for the New Year's training camp that's coming up. I have a couple of different skincare things that I need to touch on for an upcoming YouTube video. My top three priorities today are to be grateful, work hard, and no negative self-talk. And today is my best friend Alexa's birthday. Happy birthday, Alexa. <laughs> just an idea for you guys. This helps me tremendously, just waking up first thing before anything else, writing out your to-do list for the day. And it's actually so therapeutic when you can go in and take your pen and cross things off. Feels so good. I know this is a little strange for me to be checking in with you guys like this. You usually see me smiling and super happy and I'm so happy right now. I honestly, I'm crying, I think, tears of joy. Um, so one of my 2017 goals was to grow in my faith with the Lord and um, just spending some time in prayer, uh, in worship, and I'm reading my one year study Bible and I got literally like 30 seconds in and I just started, I just bursted out in tears and I don't even know why. I think God just works in miraculous ways and just a stream of emotions just filled inside my heart and my soul and I just had to let it all out. I just started thinking about how amazing this past year has been all of the people that have come into my life and have impacted my life and all of the opportunities that i've had to connect with so many people and impact other people's lives like that's so huge to me that's been my dream and my passion and when i get comments i'm sorry when i get comments from you guys that have helped you in some way, that have inspired you, or that something that I have shared about my own personal journey was just what you needed to hear in that present moment, that is what I believe are works of God. And I just feel so blessed that I have had the opportunity and the platform to be able to do something like that. And so, I don't know why I'm crying still. These are all really great things. I think just an overwhelming sense of emotion. I don't know. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for allowing me to share my journey with you, to connect with you on so many different levels, on personal levels, emotional levels, mental levels. And this is what I truly believe is my purpose. And it is my passion, and I'm so thankful and so grateful for it. And uh, so I'm sorry to be so heavy with you guys right now and super emotional. I know you've never seen me like this, but I really just felt a need to share this moment with you guys and just express my gratitude to all of you. So thank you so much for being here and for allowing me to be a part of your lives in some way and I appreciate you guys for being a part of mine. I'm gonna drink some water, finish my Bible study, and I'll catch you guys soon. No more tears. <laughs> Just finished up round two of cardio. It is late. I am tired and I have a lot of work still left to do, but when you really want something, you don't think about it. You just do it. Literally anything is possible as long as you spend more time working and less time doubting yourself. Think about it, majority of the time the only person saying that you can't is yourself. Let's shift our mindsets here guys and believe in ourselves. Week one of prep is in the books. Thank you guys so much for your support and encouragement. I love you guys so much.